All right, g'day guys, how are we all going? Holidays are over, just a distant memory now, and we're back into it. So um, I've just gone and done a couple of Fockings Eye uh, water meter pit transfers. And one of the questions I'm continually getting asked, and I've seen it crop up on Facebook a couple of times as well, is how do you get the bees from your BVAC bottle into your hive? So I've remembered this time, and I'm gonna show you how I do it anyway. Alrighty, let's crack on. This will always go smoother with two people. Um, and if you've got huge bee numbers, um, and like my BVAC uses two bottles, so um, if I've got huge bee numbers, then both bottles are gonna be full of bees. So in that situation, what you would do is transfer one bottle into the other bottle. So you're only dealing with one bottle of bees that has to go into your hive, because um, you really only get one shot at it. And if you've got heaps and heaps of bees, you really, and it's warm and they're really active, um, I suggest chucking them in the fridge for about three minutes, no more. Um, but, that, and that just chills them out, you know, because um, basically they're, they're pissed off. <laughs> and as soon as you dump them in the hive here, if they're not chilled out, they'll fly straight back out and it's a nightmare trying to get your panel down and you squash them and it gets ugly. Um, but this one here, not too many bees, and this one is only a fairly small pit, so I should be right to do this by myself. Maybe, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, so doing this by myself, it could go okay, or it could go really badly. <laughs> we'll see. I've got another one here to do as well, so I'll do that with my lovely wife and uh, show you how much easier it is. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is get your bottle and undo the lid so it's loose, it's just sitting on the threads there, okay? The bees won't come out. Um, okay, the next thing to do is you want to give the viewing panel a couple of taps. And of course, the more bees that are inside this box here that, that have come out with your brood, the more difficult this becomes because um, obviously more bees in there, as soon as you take the viewing panel off, they're going to want to come out. So um, you can't really do much about that except work really fast. All right, so let's give it a crack. There are no bees on my viewing panel and they're pretty chilled out, these ones. So I'm just going to take it off completely and just put it right there where I can get it quickly. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it away. All right, now I'm back inside. Um, now it is, I'm not going to say every time, but sometimes you are going to squash a couple of bees getting that panel back down. It's a little bit inevitable. All right, here we go. So what you do is you tap this bottle down on the bench and that knocks all the bees down to the bottle and then you quickly upend it and tap the bottle and they'll all fall in. Here we go. Try and get as many back in as you can. Just get my knife and just run it under there. So I squashed two. Ah, that one's okay. All right, so I ended up squashing one, which is pretty bloody good, not bad. So that's that one done. Let's grab this camera and show you inside. Trying to zoom back a bit. So all those bees that have just dumped in there have just gone sort of straight underneath the brood. So happy days. So that's one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, here's the second hive. Our second bottle of bees here, and this is how you do it with two people. Exactly the same process, but just goes a little bit smoother. So um, there are considerably more bees in this box here, um, but they're all pretty chilled. They're really good. So let's do it, two people. So again, tap, tap the viewing panel. Loosen the lid on our bottle of bees. That's just sitting there and 
tap the bottle on the bench and then tap them into the hive. Okay, all the bees are in the bottom of the bottle and they're coming up really quick, so. And in we go. And go down. Down with the viewing panel and just get my knife, excuse me. Run it under there, come on buddy. There you go. Sweet, I did not squash any that time. So one in the previous hive by myself and only, well none in this one, so. How good's that? Come on buddy, you can get off there. Um, you will get a few stragglers that don't actually come out of the bottle. And what I do with those guys is I just screw the lid back on and um, tomorrow morning when I let these girls out, I just open the bottle near the hive and um, tap them onto the lid of the hive and they seem to find their own way inside. Okay, there we go. I'll just give you a look at this one. The brood's a lot taller in this one, so it might be a little bit difficult to see and the reflection. <laughs> yeah, anyway, a bit hard to see. Alrighty, cool. That's a wrap. That is how you get bees from your bee vac bottle into your hive. Okay guys, catch you later. Be good to yourselves.